welcome to the early years workspace of the Lazarus Science Centre. We're excited to take a moment away from the busy science mall upstairs to do a spot of painting. Now, the image I have decided to pick is our very old Glasgow Science Centre logo, mainly because of all these loops uh, that go around in the form of an atom. Now, you can tell though that I'm not the best at painting, particularly the curves, which are a bit squiggly and a bit uneven, so I'm going to need some help. To do this, I'm going to show you how to make your very own harmonica, which can help paint near mathematically perfect loops. What you'll need is some paint, a two litre bottle, a roll of string, scissors, a sports bottle cap, and some large sheets of paper. Firstly, take the scissors and carefully cut the two litre bottle in two. Then poke two holes on opposite sides in the top half of the bottle. Take the string and feed it through the bottle before tying the end pieces together to form a loop. Take another piece of string about one metre long and attach one end to a loop before finally replacing the lid of the bottle with the sports bottle cap. Attach the other end of the string to an overhanging bar and place your large sheet of paper underneath. Give it a swing to make sure it's working and then your harmonica is ready to go. Once everything is set up, fill the bottle with paint and make sure there's tension in the string when you raise the bottle upwards. As you let go of the bottle, open up the lid of the sports top and then sit back and watch your painting form. To paint our pictures, we are using something called simple harmonic motion, which links the mass of the bottle with the length and angle of the string. It looks complicated, I know, but put simply, with every swing of the bottle, some energy is lost, which means that the bottle cannot return to the same position in the air once it is let go. There is also a reason why every swing produces a line of the paper a small distance away from the previous one. Since every swing is in a slightly different position, we eventually get a complicated crisscross pattern and one that is extremely unlikely to be repeated. So I've left my three pictures to dry overnight, and now that they're ready, the last thing we need to do is to stick them all together. So that was how to paint using simple harmonic motion. If you like this video and want to see more do-it-yourself experiments, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can also tweet us your very own harmonograph paintings to at GC1.